first of all, I have to show you these roses. Look at that thing. Oh, they're so beautiful. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Today is October 25th, so it's been kind of a while since I sat down to really do anything and film anything, so. I am going to try to do that today. <laughs> I have lots of different things going on and kind of um, kind of quite a few things that I wanted to discuss. So I was going to work on some Inktober drawings because I have quite a few to catch up on. And I was also going to talk about some knitting. So I think I'm going to start with the knitting so I can be chit chatty with you guys for a while. I have some things that I want to discuss. So first of all, this is Sunshine. This is a project that I have been improvising my design and I'm working with some naturally dyed yarn. It's just supposed to be a really simple little crop top, almost uh, maybe not even a crop top, just like a little bikini top covering thing. Fun for summer fun to wear underneath something or underneath a dress. But I've just started encountering some problems because I was starting to create the first like cup panel and I just noticed some design flaws that I have and they sort of differ from my original design plan. So let me get you into a little bit of better angle and what we're gonna end up doing is actually ripping out some stuff. So as hopefully you can see, this was my original mock-up for this design. Um, I was going for something that will be a cross back, straps here with your sort of cup shaping and then a little bit of ribbing edging here. Now the design that I ended up changing once I started actually knitting because I actually didn't go back to reference this original design, which I should have done. Um, I continued with the rib stitching, which I think my original plan was just to knit stockinette and to keep this ribbing edge down here. Regardless, I continued and I went with three by three ribbing, which I think I like because it's gonna have a little bit more stability in the long run but I am gonna have a little bit of an interesting break here since this is the center line for the second cup. Now, what I am interested in fixing is when I cast off for the back here, this is where things got a little messed up. And let me just go straight up and take these needles off so they're not in the way anymore. Um, and this is what happens when you're improvising a design. Uh, things sometimes get a little a little kooky wacky so I'm not really sure what was going on in my brain but I ended up casting off this back and working short rows rather than just working this ribbing and knitting the front so it got all messed up and so I have this weird awkward gap that it created and so I want to I want to eliminate that completely. So I'm going to take it back. And I I like the length of where I'm at. So ideally, you know, this is this is where the bust like this would end underneath your bust line. So this would be the bust line, and then everything else carries up here. So because I, I really don't have that much yardage, honestly. I mean that's just enough, should be just enough to get me through both cups and then get me some straps and maybe I'll have a handful of stuff left over. So I need to rip this back and start over. The fun part with ripping back color work is <clears throat> nothing. There's nothing fun about it. You just have to untangle it as you wind everything back up in the end. So Again, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I'm just sort of messing around and playing with it. And I don't really have the time or the brain space to put all that effort and focus into it that I would originally wish that I had. Um, so that's okay though. 
some projects work out and some don't. And that is part of, of improvising something is having to rip out. But I wanted to show you guys this process because if you are a beginner knitter or you just haven't been knitting for very long or you have never <laughs> had to rip something out, I just wanted to show you that there's nothing wrong with it. There is nothing wrong with making mistakes in your knitting. There's nothing wrong with wanting your knitting to be just a little bit more special or particular or perfect. There are mistakes that you can make that are totally livable um, and there's nothing wrong with like, you know, having having missed an increase and making up that increase later on in the piece or anything like that. You never have to worry about some some of the smaller details, but like a bigger detail where I know that it's gonna look funky once I put this piece on. I, I don't wanna have a big gap on my side. I don't want the back to be flopping around. I want it to be fitted and I want it to look nice. So I'm gonna take the time to make sure that that happens. I was also having some color work issues with the design was a little bit off as well and I didn't want that to happen. So I wanna try to keep my, my striping as cohesive throughout the piece as possible. Okay, so typically I will put it straight back onto the needles and I'll figure everything else out later on. I just need to make sure I'm on my center stitch and then I can start picking these all up. Now since I don't have a very patient attitude right now, I am just going to chuck all this straight back into my bag as is. I'm not going to try fixing it. And I will, I will pick it up some other time and I'll detangle all this yarn and get it all sorted out. But I find that if you have a short temper or you're just not feeling good or anything like that, don't try to detangle yarn, don't try to fix something that you're not going to have fun doing. I find that when I'm really relaxed or I'm just looking for something that's a little mindless and I can sit there without music or whatever, that is the time to sit around and detangle some yarn. I'm not in a rush. I'm not trying to do anything super particular or important. So keep that in mind if you really hate detangling <laughs> yarn. So.
right. Now I do have, this was my original design. I do have this piece of paper to use for ongoing notes for my piece. So I'm setting this aside right now because I just don't have the brain space to kind of problem solve and figure out what I actually wanted to do, all that jazz. So for now, it's gonna go back in the bag and we'll come upon this some other day when I have the time and energy and focus that needs to go into this piece.